Hi there, and welcome to Art from the Cottage. So I've just um, put on some different colours, different shades of blue on that canvas there, and some uh, ultramarine blue here, and I've just separated where I want the sea and the sky to meet, and that's all I've done. I did that to save time so that it could be nice and dry to put in. Well, I've just started to put some under cloud, as I call it. It's just an indication on where the cloud is going to be in the painting. So I really had to speed this up because my paintings are so intricate that, you know, you can't just do them and record them live. Um, if you know what I mean, I, I have to speed up the painting, so I've had to um, voice over, basically, because otherwise you'd get Mickey Mouse or Minnie Mouse, somebody like that. Um, speeded this one up and I'll tell you why because at the end of this painting not the end of the painting but out of this this um, part of the painting I decide to completely change everything and I, I'm, I'm going to I left it in as an example and um, of what you can do with paintings and so I decided that the um, the mount itself was too small and the castle was too big so you'll see at the end what i did now at this moment i'm just putting in some a sandbank in front of the mount but the mount is going to be completely changed altogether so i just thought i'd want, warn you about that but i did put in the underpainting which is a good thing for you to do need this part of the painting really um, to learn how to do the castle because the castle is um, you need to do it um, in a dark color so that you can put a light over the top and if you just watch you you'll see exactly what I'm doing so I used a burnt umber with some black to do the very very dark part of the castle on in this preliminary sketch because really when we think about it this is a sketch it's a sketch in paint and you're going to change things uh, within that sketch all that island is it's just not it's just not right um 
But I'm putting in this preliminary thing to just, just get an idea on how it's going to look. And this is great instruction for you because you've, you know, a lot of people think that um, you just put a stroke of paint on a canvas and that is it. It doesn't change. It doesn't, that is your, that is your, you know, your painting. But it's not like that. And I have to keep getting that through to people that you could, you'll, you'll see this. This is a great example, this painting, because it has totally changed. I changed the sky, I changed the sea, I changed the castle, I changed the mount, I changed everything, the cloud, everything. Um, but anyway, so this is, ju just follow along with what I'm doing, and then I'll explain at the end when I change it for its final, in its final form. I'm trying out a new microphone because I think my old one was a little bit, you know, it wasn't right. So I bought a new fancy one and um, I'm hoping that it cuts out traffic noise and um, it's just better than the other one. So we'll see. This is my first video using it. So we'll see. You have to let me know what you think. Still putting in the preliminary sketch, if you like, of the castle. And you can sort of see where you're going wrong, you can see what you'd like to change, that kind of thing. And it's at this point where I decide to change everything. I'm going to change the size of the mount. I'm going to change the size of the castle. I'm going to change the um, trees that I put on the side of the of the of the, the um, island. Um, I'm going to change the sky. I'm going to change the sea. So I won't speed this part up because this is quite. This is showing you how I change it. And that is the most important thing to me. So I start by making the actual um, island, uh, the mount, bigger, uh, wider and bigger. And I also put in quite a few colors, lighter colors than I had before. Um, this is why you need that dark background to put the light colors on. And you just put them randomly. I think I used some raw umber, some black, some um, cream, uh, light green, whatever. You just put them random brush strokes and, and um, uh, perhaps uh, rub them in with your fingers. And it creates a sort of stony look as if there's stone there. Almost instantly it's looking better to my eye. The, the mount or the mount, you know, the island that it's on is looking bigger, more substantial, um, more rugged as well. And the castle is um, I think, really, it's the right proportion. Um, yeah, I think it's the right proportion. You have to, you have to get your proportions right. Um, how you think that something would actually look.
So at this point, I'm starting to put a lighter shade. Um, I'm using raw umber, actually. And I'm putting that over the very dark shape of the castle that, I, that I've got there. I'm putting the light on top of the dark shape of the castle um, and you know you, you must always remember that you need you need the dark there to put the light on top of or you need the light to put the dark on top of um, it's the same with skies you can't you know it would just look if you just had the dark of that castle the very very dark burnt umber it you couldn't do anything with it, wouldn't you? Wouldn't show any shapes or form, and it would just look ridiculous. So you you must always remember that that light goes on dark and dark goes on light. Really lovely green there with them. Um, I used um, phthalo green and black, and it's made a lovely olive green, olivey, olive with a touch of emerald, and it's lovely. And um, I put it, I'm putting in some trees there on the island because there are. Quite a lot of trees on the island, actually, and gardens on the island and things. And this island is um, is St Michael's Mount in Cornwall. The only thing I've not done uh, is put in the cottages that are at the base of the mount. I might save that for a future video. And um, also put in some beach um, uh, in the foreground and maybe some people or something like that. So this, this painting is the basic painting of St. Michael's Mount. Um, and it's a medieval castle on an island in the, uh, just off, it's at Marazion. And it's, it's near Penzance. And it's absolutely beautiful. The tide is in at the moment, but you can, when the tide goes out, there's a causeway, um, a of cobblestones, ancient, that you can walk across to the mount. But at the moment, it's um, the tide is in, in my painting. And I'm putting in some nice light um, pale blue into the sky because I've decided that it's, it was just too dark and needed something. Now you see how you um, have to build up uh, one of these paintings. 
you know these the skies that I do you have it you don't just put it in once you you build and you 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 build up the cloud layers and the colors and the shapes and you know and you just keep doing it and doing it until you like it and you'll know when you like it and you'll know when it looks good and you'll know when it looks bad and uh, but the beauty of it is you can adjust it especially with acrylics you can you can just change it just like that you know at the drop of a hat you just, all you have to do is dry it now i'm just putting in some details here some little windows and things in the castle and what i found is if you put in a little bit of black just and a, i mean a tiny tiny dot and you let that dry and then you put in a dot of white or a dot of you can use yellow if you want if you if you want to make this look like it's um at night a nocturne you could use orange you could use yellow and you know but i I've, I've made this look a bit like twilight really it's not quite full sun it's not quite dark it's twilight so i'm putting in these little teeny weeny weeny blobs of black then i let that dry and then i'll just put in some random little blob blobs of white green or whatever i've handy and um see how it's starting to look come together I once saw St. Michael's Mount in the mist and it was absolutely magical. It's a magical place. It really is. It's just amazing. It's huge. And um, inside, you know, you've got the armory, you've got the chapel, you've got um, everything, all the, all the beautiful furniture and you can go up there and, and also on the mount there's lovely um bistro cafes with serving gorgeous food and everything it's a fabulous day out now as i said you could walk across a cobbled um causeway that's underneath the sea when the tide is in uh but when the tide is out you can walk across there i walked across there and then you can get a boat back if the tide comes in while you're over there. No, oh, magical, magical. So I'm just putting some little highlights into the um, into the windows, or I've just put in some little highlights, and now I'm deciding if I should put some some more surf and I'm going to do it and I like my paint to get really thick and luxurious and it and it gives you the illusion of um, the waves you don't have to do anything all you have to do is just dip it into the paint with a palette knife and pop it on and um, it 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 looks raised. If you could see this in real life, it looks raised. And then a bit of, and don't worry, look, look what I've done there. Don't worry about that. Because um, you can just get a paper towel or something, you know, just blend it in and it'll look lovely. You don't, there's, there's no right and wrong. You can go over everything. If you absolutely hated the colour of that sea, some reason just wait till it dries and go over it with something that you do like simple as that look look there see i blended it in it was a mistake and now it part of the painting and that's what you've got to do you've got to think think like that when i talk about I talk about this as if everybody's going to paint the painting. I know they're not. But I have to, you know, talk about it for those that do want to paint the painting. And 
just give them a little, you know, a little um, a bit of confidence, really. A bit of confidence by saying, look, doesn't matter if you've done it wrong, doesn't matter. You can just let it dry and go over it. So I'm at the end of the painting. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope that you um, have a go at it. And if you like the painting, it would be marvellous if you could give me a little thumbs up. And um, I would really appreciate it if you, um, if you would subscribe to my channel. I'd love that. And with that, I'll say bye for now. And as always, love from Cornwall.